What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm ready. I chose a color for the SDK and I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you guys just yet, but I am painting the trunk and the rear bumper. I have it all ready right here. This paint is a three stage paint. So it involves the base coat. Uh, it has some pearl in it. And then on top of that, we add the clear coat. I've never sprayed anything with pearl and it doesn't seem like it's any different from spraying your base coat or clear coat. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see how the paint comes out. I'm gonna try not to mess up because this paint was really expensive and I am not about to pay another $680 for three quarts and pearl. I'm not showing you guys what color this is, but I know you guys can probably guess it. If you guess the color, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. Okay guys, so I wasn't gonna show you guys the paint color, but this thing looks so good. Like the paint came out really, really good. I might just leave it like that. Like I went over the whole bumper. I don't think I missed any spots. This thing looks good. Oh my God. You know what? I'm just gonna show you guys. Bam. Yep. You guys guessed it, Rio Yellow. It's an OEM color from Honda, used on the S2000. The crazy thing about this paint is, not only is it this yellow, orange, nice paint, but it also uses a pearl, which we have, which I, which I have right over on that table and I'm just admiring this right now. I'm gonna let it dry for a bit. I think it looks good. I know that if I don't go over the second pass, I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna find some missing spots. This thing came out really, really nice. I don't have any complaints. I just wanna go over it again because, just for reassurance, but I can really, if I wanted to, leave it like this. Right now I'm just mixing the pearl. I'm probably gonna be doing one heavy coat. I definitely have less pearl than base coat. But check out that pearl in there. That thing is crazy. I'm excited to spray on the pearl and see how the paint looks after.
all right guys so i'm done spraying the pearl you can't really see it unless it's indirect sunlight i can see it but the camera can't really see it you might be able to pick up a few sparkles here and there um but yeah i did one heavy coat of pearl because i have almost half of what i have for base coat and i don't want to run out and here's the trunk honestly not bad guys i'm really loving this color i'm hating these little mosquitoes so yeah now i just gotta let the paint with the pearl dry i'm gonna give it about 15 minutes and then last thing to do is add the clear coat i'm getting the clear ready um it's a two to one so i do have to mix it add a little bit of reducer and then i'll be spraying the rear bumper and the trunk um let me do this really quick and then i'll show you guys how it looks like Finally done painting the rear bumper and trunk. They came out super good. Let me show you guys a little close up. You can definitely see the pearl now. Uh, there's not much sunlight here, but you can still see the sparkle and it's just super, super glossy. You guys see that? This thing looks freaking good oh my god i'm 100 percent satisfied on how the rear bumper came out now let me show you guys the trunk the trunk is not that bad either i did the exact same thing as the rear bumper Check that gloss out. That thing is freaking clean. It's only gonna get better as it dries. I can't wait to start painting the rest of the car and then finally the day that I put it together, it's gonna look so good. I'm keeping all of my receipts from Mesa Paint, which is where I get my supplies. Super chill dudes always down to help you out with whatever you're looking for whatever paint color little secret for you guys that place is the very same place where dustin williams got his r35 millennium jade green color i think it's freaking awesome i'm gonna go get something to eat now i'm gonna call it a day i'm gonna keep uh painting the rest of the car Probably tomorrow I'll do the front bumper and the lip and then towards the end of the week I'll paint the fenders yeah guys I'm gonna start painting uh, tomorrow as well I'm gonna do the front bumper and the lip and then the next day I'll do the two fenders and after that all that's left is the two doors and the rear quarter panels on the S2K and BAM! Within a week it'll be time to put it back together and I can't wait. That thing is going to look freaking nice. I do drive the GTR a lot more than you guys think so believe me guys I've been enjoying this car. I've been enjoying this car very very much. I'm loving that mine's downpipe.